What's up, everyone? This is Squigs, and welcome back to another episode of Squiggy's Rom Hack Romp. We're here in the undergrounds of Mario's Adventure by Mushroom378, listening to some great, if not a little repetitive, Marble Madness music. Now, how much did you like the Marble Madness music in the previous, the previous outro? Wasn't that dope? Best song ever written for the NES, and possibly just written. I'm gonna go that far. Oh my god, do I love the music for Marble Madness enough to say grand possibly not true things about it <laughs> uh yeah we're gonna kill him just oh fucked up my mic i'm gonna kill him just so we can have time to check that that's suspicious although that's just a pit to death so we will not be jumping down there you just come with us well now i need to grat on my yoshi and run here we go this part would have been tough to deal with without the star Nice use of star, in a way that I don't typically see it used. Oh, we despawn the uh, the spiny. Spinies are a very weird enemy in that they despawn when they go off the top or bottom of a screen. I think permanently too. Let me see if I can get him to come back. Yeah, there. It's something because they wrap around walls. They wanted them to despawn if they go off the bottom of the screen. Um, let's see if we can. It's not what I want to do at all. I want to spin jump on that to get that thing that I don't need. Now I've lost my P-switch that I don't need. What a day. And now my my Yoshi's running away. Can we just do something here? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Come on. These guys are making fools of me on camera for all my friends to see. What do we need all these shells for? Um... Stack some up for extra points, I think. Oh, I killed one. Uh, just coins, actually. And we take the other shell with us in our mouth. So, not really sure what that end part was for, but hey. Why not? <laughs> That's what I say. Alright, now, this possibly has a secret exit. So we're going to take a quick look around before we move on. Here's something. A P-switch leading up here. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a bit tricky to find, but I lucked into it. It would have been a bit tricky if I didn't just hit the switch and go backwards for no real reason. Secret number one. Well, let's go down the normal path before we go down the secret path. These do not li link, link up for a long time. Lip, 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 lip. <laughs> These do not link up for a long time, so... Um, well, I wanted... <laughs> One of the other feathers, so I had two feathers. But I guess it's probably best I keep one of each anyways. It's up here. Nothing. All right. Do not kill my Yoshi, please. Oh, I fucked up on the hop. God damn it. Well, Yoshi's dead. Or maybe he's just gone to find somewhere else. It's less stressful to live in. Where people don't dump him down pits. Oh, if I went to the left first, I could have gotten... Uh, I could have gotten the peace switch or the uh, the switch palace, which might be worth doing even if we don't go down the whole secret path, because the switch palace could really help us on the main path. Let's just zoom through this a little bit. Not too much to do there, so no need. Very clever. Very clever. Goodbye, everyone. Can't can't even do that. So what if I? Come on, let's. Hop our way down here. Come on. Just <laughs> keep going. Oh, if I look this way. No, it's always going to slide me out that way, so. There we go. Keep hopping. I'm having flashbacks to Super Mario logic. There we go. We got it in. All right, so the next one. Oh, that leads us to the red switch. What? I'm dumb. What does this lead? Oh, this leads to the star world if you find the secret exit. Um... We're not gonna do the red switch just yet, though. We're gonna we're gonna beat the normal the normal exit first, I think. Even though there was red switch blocks in this level that we might be able to benefit from, uh, it looks like they're just to save us a little bit of stress. Nothing in there. Kill you. Kill you. Quick speed our way through this. Jump and fly. And I believe this is right about where we left off. Yeah, this is the. Ah, oh, dumb move. Why do I do the thing? I let that just go? What a bum. 
Well, the level's over, so it doesn't, doesn't matter that much, but um, that was a bum move right there. Um, yeah, so we're house to ghost number two. We're gonna go to the red switch first, though, before we leave it behind. <laughs> so good. Alright, so we're gonna do... We'll just hit both of them at once. Oh, I fucked up. Yeah, I fucked that up pretty bad. Because I... Well, is that a reset pipe? Alright, so if we do this first... We can get all these. Wait a second. Where's the other... Where's the coins that are supposed to appear there? I don't get what happened there. Did we get brought to a second room when we went through that pipe? Or did it... Was that a reset pipe? I actually don't know what happened there. Now the red switch will change. Blanket to blank. You can also save your progress. And I shall. Let's go to the house of ghosts number two. Ooh. Scary. All right. Ooh. Scary psycho music. I spun jump off him. Shenanigans. I want to... I'm calling for the replay cam. Nah, don't bother doing that, Squigs. We all saw what happened. There's no need for the replay cam. I don't know why I'd call for the replay cam. On such a such an occasion. Yeah, see, it worked fine that time. Well, I, <laughs> I'm gonna stop killing myself for no reason. I'm just, like, bouncing around. I don't, I don't know. I'm feeling a little off the wall today, I guess. A little bit of reckless, you know. You ever get in those reckless moods, folks? Where you just want to ride the ghost? <laughs> Gotta really stop doing this. We're never gonna get past this little part. Um, sometimes you gotta ride the ghost. Hmm. Uh, so those boo things, you can't, you can only spin jump off the front boo. The rest are just, will just kill you. So, let's see, like, if I do that front one, it shouldn't kill me. But every other one, it should. All right. You can just, well, I, I mean, I knew what that did. I don't, I don't know why I've lost seven lives to this level so far. <laughs> I guess that's just the kind of day it's going to be. Oh my god, thank god that one didn't spawn, because I should have died there. Now, as for him, we just need to just lure him out, get a little lower. Can hop off his noggin, too. Little noggin hop. How does one get through there? Oh, I'm not big. So I can probably just spin jump it if I were big. No power-ups for this Mario, though. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit suspicious. There's a lot of level left over on that side. But this actually only has one exit, so... I'm pretty sure that there's nowhere else for this to go. One of the benefits of using the original map is I know where all the secret exits are, even the ghost house. I fucking didn't read the title for this, which I hate to do. Alright. Yeah, so at least I know I'm not missing anything when they use the original map. Um, what would this be for? A reset again? I'm not sure how, why you would need that. Unless you'd let the, the raft go without you, somehow. Like, jump on it and then jump back, possibly. I mean, a reset door is always good. But that one might have been unnecessary, as far as I know. As far as I know. Oh, you're trapped in your little prison, huh? Yeah. Just you and your footballs forever. Yeah, you too. Yeah, spawning way too many sprites for no reason at all. Yeah, put more on the screen. <laughs> there we go. Boom. No, I did so good dodging for once and I fucked it all up. <laughs> for no reason. I'm just going to zoom through this because there's not too much there. You might want to put some obstacles on these. It would help a little bit if there was something flying through the air like some bats. That one went under the level there, which is weird. It must have landed, yeah, if it didn't fall all the way down the pit, it'll it'll glide along the level like that. So let's go to Bullet Land. Let's see what Bullet Land has to offer. I'm assuming tons of bullets. Um, surprisingly, I have not seen one yet. Here it is. Bullets and rocks. Oh, not today, buddy. Gonna knock the very ground that I'm walking on. Give me a power-up. I'm gonna take the time to dupe this. I'm so bad at duping. I don't know what the hell happened to me lately. I used to be very good at it, but 
All of a sudden, I'm quite bad at duping. Alright. Oh, not today, Bullet Land. Let's see if we can get enough of these to actually get the one up from this. I think that might be enough. Maybe not. Yeah, we got thirty you have to get thirty coins so that doesn't spawn a one up basically, so. Grab this. Ah! What am I doing? The player falls down there. No, they wouldn't be stuck actually. They could jump off of off the bullet if they had to. Not too bad. Um, I want to see what's in there, and I want to do it this way. It's probably a P-switch now that I'm looking at it. Fucking cool. I'm just going to use it this time instead of saving it like I always do. I like this P-switch music a lot. Woo! And we got ourselves a bonus game that I can fail at. Whoop! Alright, let's see. Well, we can get this extra. No, don't want you. I'll take you, thank you very much. Let's try it from over here. Never switch it up, folks. Just go the way that you know. Alright. So, we can go to castle number three. Yeah, we're still probably not going to go to the secret exit, because they link, they link up pretty far in the future. We're getting about a world per episode done now. A little bit less, considering World 2 took us two episodes, but we're making pretty decent progress. No. Oh. Oh, those are sprite blocks. So yeah, Mario passes right through them, but sprites do not. Interesting interesting use of the on blocks backwards is no. I've never seen that before. That's brand new to me. Um, we're going to keep this guy with us, even though it's probably dangerous. Kick him forward every once in a while, though. He resets his little timer to wake up. He does not when you kick him up. You have to kick him forward in order to get him to reset the timer. A little fun fact for y'all. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> Grab this. Kick him forward. Melt that dude. Kick him up. Yep. Kick him forward. He's the worst shell known to man. I'm gonna die. Nope. Kill that. Bada bing. Does work. Decently well at killing his friends. Don't need that, because it's not a feather. Oh, I've wasted it now, but that's okay, because we've got a shell, which is way better. It's like a fucking Mecha Koopa that never wakes up. <laughs> and I can do shit like that, and fucking lose my feather, because I'm impatient, and then I lose my shell. Right, don't need that. Nice little effect with the 3D kind of block coming out of a block thing here. I like how that looks. Very nice. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with these. We can just stomp our way through most of this, it looks like. And we got our feather back anyways, but we're going to switch just in case it's one of the enemies we can melt. Oh, it's this fucker. Oh, my worst. Not Wendy. But the other one that's just like Wendy. I'm not getting over there in time. Wow, am I messing this up for no real good reason. Ah! Oh, what a failure! Oh, I'm the worst. Alright, let's try this once more. With feeling this time. Boom! Get knocked! Boom! Get knocked! And... Boom! Oh, you made it too easy! You schlub! Alright, we are the victor, you are the failure, and let's see what our little message is today. Alright, we save an egg. Thank you, you're welcome. Uh... Oh, we get the hammer for this one. Bam, bam, bam! Fuck your house! <laughs> Congratulations! Mario has taken care of Lemmy Koopa of the Third Castle. Did you find all of the secrets? I'm assuming the secrets you're talking about are not within the castle and are more so with the secret, like the the red pow, uh, the red switch palace and the, the other path, which we're, no, oh, excuse me, which we're still not going to take. I'll show you why in a second. So that one links up. Basically, 
How does this work? No. Come on. Go here, and we hit this. Yeah. So that one comes out right there at that pipe, and then that pipe goes across here, and they both meet up at World 4. So when we come back next time, I think this is a good time to stop again, we're going to play the end. Well, okay. We're going to come back for another video for this, I think, because the end... We're going to have to do a bunch of the secret stuff. The fourth video might be a little bit short, depending on how many secret levels there are. But in case there's like four or five of them, I'm not going to try to get through it all in one video. So you might have a short one next time. Maybe maybe you will. Maybe you won't. But uh, only time will tell, friends. That's part of the surprise. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for joining me for another episode of Squiggy's ROM Hack Romp. If you have a hack you'd like to see played, uh, maybe something you made, something you just want to see played, you let me know down in the comments or send it to me at sendmeyourhacks at gmail.com. And until next time, friends, I will catch you in the next video. I hate saying until next time. If I say that during an outro, I hate myself every time because I don't know where to go from there. Anyways, here's some more Marble Madness music.